Mike Zeno Ministries presents Called to Victory. Now here are your hosts, the senior pastors of Glory and Peace Church International, Pastors Mike and Maria Efezino. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. This is the Call to Victory broadcast and I'm Apostle Mike Efezino welcoming here. And um, I have with me Pastor Maria today. And we are excited about the subject that we've been addressing, the, uh, the, the subject of healing. And today we want to just invite you to think and to meditate with us concerning what God has to say about this particular subject. It will intrigue you to know that God wants you and I walking in divine health. And uh, that this whole situation about, about sickness and disease has something insidious to do with something called dominion. Who is going to be in control? But before we get into that subject, I want to say, Pastor Maria, how are you doing today? I'm surely blessed and highly favored. Praise God. <laughs> and you? I'm blessed and highly favored of the Lord <laughs> too. I yeah. know you're also blessed and highly favored of the Lord. You've been blessed with uh, what you've been hearing on healing. Keep in touch with us. God bless you. Amen. You know, uh, when God created man, the Bible says God created man in his image and in his likeness. Yes. Now we know that God has no sickness in him. Mm -mm. But we also know that sickness came into the earth realm because of sin. But one of the things that God gave to man at the very beginning was the grace to have dominion. Mm -hmm. It says, for example, in Genesis 1, 28, it says, and God blessed them talking about Adam and Eve, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply mm -hmm. and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every hair bearing seed and on and on and on. But God created man and he gave him the grace mm. to have dominion, yes. to have everything subject to him. Now, <clears throat> the devil came into the picture, mm -hmm. and man lost his position of dominion, mm -hmm. and with that came the presence of sin, with that came sickness and death, and all of the things con con um, connected with death mm -hmm. in every form. Everything came into play. Now the devil now had dominion over the life of man. Mm -hmm. Now when Jesus came, the Bible says he came preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of God that the devil has no dominion over. Mm -hmm. And when he brought that kingdom of God, mm -hmm. he brought it and he brought restoration of life. Yes. Healing the raising of the dead, yes. and all of that. Yes. And so really, when we talk about healing, the ministry of healing, we cannot separate it from the subject of dominion. Yeah, which is back. This is the, uh, the message of the kingdom. What is it? This is the original message of the kingdom, mm -hmm. that man, God bless man, bless them. Yes. Bless both male and female. So mm -hmm. if you're male and female, you're blessed. That's right. Then he, uh, And then he says... I've given them what? Power to be what? Fruitful. Yes. So you cannot be barren. No. That's the kingdom message is you are fruitful. That's right. The original state of what God has blessed man, that's the dominion. Mm -hmm. You know, fruitfulness, multiplication, replenishing the earth, subduing, dominion. These are powerful languages. Mm -hmm. These are pa not just a language, but it's a, it's a, it's a kingdom mindset mm -hmm. of God. That he gave to man. And so over all things he has created. All dimension. Yeah. Things that move. Things that fly. Things that swim. Any of them. You have power over them. Mm -hmm. Everything. So bacteria moves. Mm -hmm. uh, they fly in the air. Anything. You have power over all of them. Yes. He said I've given it to you. You have dominion. So when man fell. The devil had this. And he lord it over man. But mm -hmm. when Jesus came. And he restored it. That's why I say he came every time. He said, 
preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Yeah. Preaching. What is the gospel? Good news. That's right. You know, the same thing he's saying in Luke 4, 18. He said to heal the brokenhearted. So because to set the captives free. W- w- to that's the mindset of the kingdom. That's so it's right. reestablished. So it's been established. Amen. We are not falling anymore. No. We are in this now. What we lost wasn't heaven. No. What we lost was our dominion. Yeah. And so when Jesus came, he came to reinstate the dominion that yeah. we have. The devil never had heaven. He never had. No. Because he was kicked out of it. So he didn't. He was ne- and God wants us to kick the enemy from our territory. That's right. It's the same we made in his image and likeness. When the devil messed up in heaven, dominion again, he kicked him out. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. When the devil comes into your garden, you need to what? Kick, kick him, him out. out. You know, when he comes into your uh, no body, mercy. he's still the same trick. He's playing it tomorrow. You know, he comes into your body, kick him out of your body. That is the so take your dominion back. Yes. The enemy always wants to violate. He wants to take. He wants to control, which is what it is. Yeah. You know, who's it in charge? Who's in charge? Mm-hmm. Now we, we want to prove to that devil that we are in charge. Yes. And that he's not in charge yes. of our lives. And that's what he's not in charge of my body. And that's what Jesus came, asked told us that, you know, yes. asked we we did that in our last program. Yes. Ten thirty eight, say how Jesus was so anointed of mm. the Holy Ghost with, with power. power. When about, when doing, about good. doing good mm-hmm. and healing all, all those were oppressed, were oppressed of, the, of devil. the devil. So anyone that has been oppressed, controlled by the devil, that the devil has had dominion over, is, is reversed. He healed all of them. He restored it back. Because God was with him. With him. Yeah. And, and God is with us. Yes. Now, in Luke 10, mm-hmm. the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says in verse 1, it says, After these things, the Lord appointed other 70 also, and sent them two and two before his face unto every city and place where he himself would come. Mm -hmm. Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Go your ways. Behold, I send you forth as lamb among wolves. Mm -hmm. And then says, Carry neither purse and whatever, all all of that stuff. And (coughs) tells us, he says, y- you get into a house, you know, stay in that house, speak peace to that house, and so on and so forth. Then these disciples go out there. They come back, and he says in verse 9, for example, he says in verse 9, he says, one of the instructions is, and heal the sick that are therein. Mm-hmm. You go into a city, heal the sick that are therein, mm-hmm. and say unto them, the kingdom, of God. the kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. Yes. That's Heal it. the sick because the kingdom of God has come unto you. So, child of God, this is the deal. Mm-hmm. We need to decide which kingdom we are in. Are we in the kingdom of darkness or are we in the kingdom of light? Mm-hmm. If we're in the kingdom of light, then there is healing there. Mm-hmm. If we're in the kingdom of darkness, the devil has dominion there. Mm-hmm. Oh, but we choose to be part of the kingdom of God. Mm-hmm. And in that kingdom, the devil has no authority he has no power and you and i are the temple of the living god that's right that's all that's what we're saying that you kick him out yes because he has to know and you have to voice it that's the dominion that's what we mean you know you have to voice it and say look it's been restored back to me so the sin consciousness and the guilt consciousness and the self-blame consciousness Mm. and uh, and all the tactics of the enemy those are his devices turning things against you so you can do his dirty work you just say no i've been restored Mm -hmm. jesus Mm -hmm. has restored because it says say all you need to do just say the kingdom of god has come that whole place is cleansed Hallelujah. It's, a, it's a different dimension you're in a different place amen yes you know so here the bible says in luke 10 the the, the, the disciples go out mm-hmm. these 70 that he added they go out and they come back mm-hmm. in verse 17 it says mm-hmm. and the 70 returned mm-hmm. again with joy yes yeah, say. saying lord even the devils are subject <laughs> unto us through thy name, yes. through thy name, yes. through thy name. How are we part of the kingdom of God? Through the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And, and This you, time they got it they got because it. they got this power in the name. Yes. They've been with the person 
Like Jesus wasn't physically present Mm-mm. with them. Mm-mm. But, but they, they now understand he gave them their name. That's the power. This time they took the power. Mm-hmm. They say, through your name, just the name did the work. Yes. They exercise the authority yes. in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. And as they did so, even the devils, they say, are subject unto us through thy name. Hallelujah. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Yes. I beheld him, you know, fall. He yeah. lost his dominion. Yeah. And therefore, he says, behold, I give unto you mm. power. Yes. I give unto you power yes. to tread on serpents yeah. and scorpions and over all the power of, of the, the enemy. enemy. And nothing, nothing, shall nothing any shall by any means hurt you. Hurt you. Why? The kingdom of God is here. Amen. So if you're hurting, it says nothing shall by any means hurt you. Just say, I am in the kingdom. I am in it's the kingdom. Given. That's all. Just say what he tells you. Say, I am in the kingdom. Human being, they dominate with their mouth. You got to say it. Yes. <laughs> Silence is not going to do it for you. You have to say, I am in the kingdom. And sickness, you, can sickness, have you cannot authority have authority here. over me. You yeah. cannot, pain cannot dwell in me. No, because the devil. Death, death, even death cannot dwell in me. That's right. He said he conquered the grave. That's right. So learning to take the kingdom and learning to say, well, I've been given this dominion. Wow. Over all things. Dominion. Yeah, that's it. And then, then it's yours. Because that's how the devil dominates over people's lives. Yes. He uses sickness and Dominate disease and to dominate, dominate. controls them and torment them. You can see somebody who's sick for such a long time. They stay in their bed. They can't see outside. No, the, just limited. The fresh air that is outside, you can't even take it. Even some people are allergic to air, to light. <laughs> now, that the is control alive. of the devil. That's not what God intends for your life. So start today, child of God, and say, look, God has given me this power. And I take it. And I'm going to walk in it. You're not going to dominate and over my yeah. life. You're the one in charge, not the enemy. Child of God, I, I trust that you're hearing what we're saying to you today by the Spirit of God. That the devil has no right to dominate mm-hmm. over your life. Mm-hmm. And he's been doing it with sickness. He's ruined families financially. Mm-hmm. But sickness, he's ruined lives in so many ways with sickness and disease, lack. But this day, we come to announce to you that the Lord God Almighty reigns supreme over your life. He is Lord. And at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee must bow. Amen. For he has a name that is above every other name. Mm. Every sickness must bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That name is above every other name. Is above every name in the earth, in the heavens, in the earth, and under the earth. Mm. And at that name, every knee must bow. Amen. Everything that stands in your way today must bow to the authority in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Satan and all his cohorts and all of their devices do not have authority over your life. Well, if you are in the devil's quarter and you're in his back pocket, well, he has authority over you. But if you're a child of God, born again of the Spirit of God, you must say today, devil, I do not belong to you. I, you do not have any rights over my life. He, my God, has given me the power to be called the Son of the Most High God. Amen. As many as received Jesus, to them he gave the power to become. But now you are beyond that. The Bible says, as, but as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. You are a son of God. 
and you have dominion today. Mm. I say you have dominion today. Mm. I say you have dominion over every work of darkness, over every sickness, and over every disease. And right now, in Jesus' name, every sickness that is resident in your body is hearing my voice, and they are hearing you also because we are coming into agreement right now. We are saying in the name of Jesus Christ, sickness, you have no authority. Loose your hold and be gone. You right now why don't you do something right now right where you are right now just as this broadcast is going to be ending i want you to take a note and a paper and and, and a pen and um, and begin to write an eviction notice to that devil and announce it to him that you know that he's no longer in charge and control of your body this body is the temple of the living god and this temple does not cohabit with sickness and disease this temple does not allow any infringement of the authority of the living God. This day, you must banish the powers of darkness from having control mm -hmm. over your life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise I am God. excited about what God is releasing into the lives of God's people right now. Mm -hmm. I think there are many who are listening to our voice right now that are getting very annoyed with the devil and yes, saying, you, you yes. must go today. Yeah, they are awake. You, you know, it said, the Bible says, awake, you that sleep. Yes. Arise from your slumber. Wake up. My they, God. They are awake now. Yes. And then they can take their position. Amen. You know, when you come to the dinner table, you know where your seat is. You just go sit. That's right. And enjoy, you know, so... Take your healing and enjoy. Take it. Take yes. it. Take it. Take, take it. it and enjoy. It's yours. It's always been yours. And now I think the devil is in trouble because people are not going to be so aggressive and, <laughs> and not <laughs> tolerate any more of his healing rubbish, uh, sickness. Yes. You know, say, get out of here and get out of my home. Get out of my child. Get out of my husband. Get out of my dog. Even your cat, you can begin to just <laughs> go for it. You know, all the way, just, just pack your filthy sickness and get out and don't you come back amen and put the blood on his face take this <laughs> <laughs> praise god you find out you begin to have a lot of fun hey. and, and uh, it's a wonderful testimony to be sickness disease and pain free amen because pain is not funny and sickness is not funny we've been to the hospital many times we've seen a lot of people who are sick you know when they're free there's no such thing as freedom to be free from the power of the enemy. And God has given you the greater power. Amen. He's given you the power of dominion over sickness and disease. Wow. I know you've heard that word dominion over uh, having prosperity and all that. Yes, prospering in your health is very important. So it's giving you dominion over your own body. Yes. You have dominion over your own physical body. Because you are the s your, you that live in that your body, you are a spirit man that lives inside your house. Your house does not tell you what to do. You sleep in your house, you cook in your house. Your house starts speaking to you, say, hey, you can't come in here. You say, hey, you get the broom and move that thing out of the <laughs> way. You move the garbage out of the way. So you start beginning to speak to your body and those garbage of the enemy sweep them out. Hallelujah. Amen. That's having dominion. It's exciting to Praise know the Lord. that we have dominion. Yes. We have dominion over every activity of the enemy. We have been knighted by God. We are the disciples of the Most High God. We are born again of the spirit of the living God. Mm -hmm. We have the word of God in our lives. We are the redeemed of the Lord. We are the chosen of the Lord. And we are in control now because the word of God is alive in us. Amen. You know, when, when we start talking about dominion, the enemy w will want to push back and say, oh, so you think you have dominion. And that's where we resist the devil mm -hmm. and say, I don't think I have dominion. Mm -hmm. I know I have dominion. Mm -hmm. And you are not in charge mm -hmm. anymore. Amen. That's right. Praise God. Yeah, you resist him with the word. You resist with it's the word. A, the battle is always about the word. He wants the word. He wants to steal the word. He wants the word not to work for you. Mm -hmm. So you resist him. Keep that word going. 
You know, many times when we think about the healing power of God, mm -hmm. we spend more time praying about certain things mm -hmm. when we actually should be declaring our rights. Yes. And I, I'm convinced that some people live in a prolonged state of sickness not because God is not willing to heal them or that God has not healed them already but God awaits them whether they will awaken to the reality mm -hmm. of the fact that they have been authorized to have dominion mm -hmm. over every power of the enemy yes yes that's as soon as God finished making man, that was his principle. First thing. First thing he did when he brought uh, Genesis 2, it tells you right there. He, he, he blessed them and then he, he wanted to see what Adam would do. Mm -hmm. The Bible said whatever Adam called anything, that's what it is. That was the name of it. Yeah, so if you keep calling yourself every day that you are sick and you're poor and you're broken and you're going to die, that's, that's what exactly. it is. And why waste your breath on that? Why don't you switch? your language to the language of dominion and begin to say i have been given charge and authority over all dimension today my path is shining bright today i'm in str i'm strong i'm healthy i'm gonna have a great day i am pain free i am sickness free i am disease free i'm part of the kingdom and of i'm God. part of the kingdom and there is no sickness no disease no pain no sorrow no tears in the kingdom of God. Mm -mm. Akuna matata. <laughs> you know, and that's not just, it means there's no trouble, no problem. So you need to just hang in there and just begin to march on. Enforce the will yes. of God. Let your kingdom come. Yes. Let your will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Amen. We already know that there's no sickness in heaven. Mm -mm. So yeah. if there's no sickness, we can yeah. live yeah. Like heaven in the earth. Yeah, and part of that Lord's Prayer, Matthew 6, let your kingdom come, your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Not just only the physical earth realm, you are also earth, mm. in. That's why I say in earth, not mm -hmm. on. So whatever is inside you that's not right for that day, he can it's, eradicate it's it. always been there. Exercise your authority and have dominion over yourself. Hallelujah. And over before you have over others. Amen. You know, child of God, I, I pray, I pray that you connected with the word of God that we bring into you tonight or this, this, this day, that you made that connection. And as you made that connection, that you didn't just make a, 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 a tactile touch with the word of God, but that you assimilated that word and allowed that word and you to become one. God wants you and his word to become one and so that you become toxic mm -hmm. to the forces of darkness that when the enemy comes he, he goes raid and he goes off he <laughs> you know raid against the the parade of the enemy today in the name of jesus christ because you have embraced the word of the living god be blessed in him Amen. prosper in him we will be right back. God's healing is available to everyone, but how do you access it? What stops it from coming to you? In the four CD healing series, Apostle Mike and Maria Epizino answer many of those questions. Each program is packed full of the Word, giving you tools that will enable you to walk in divine health. To order, Call the number below. You don't have to live in sickness any longer. The Lord Jesus Christ says, I'm giving you power to dominate. I'm going to ask Pastor Mary to lead us in prayer in a moment so that there be a release of this grace in our lives so that we know beyond a shadow of a doubt 
No more explanation. I have dominion. I have dominion. And I dominate against every work of the enemy right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, child of God, just take the word you've heard today. I'm going to agree with you that right now that the healing power of God is working in your life. Mm. That you have dominion. Say, I have dominion. I have dominion. The power of God works in me. The power of God is works working in me. Twenty four seven. Works in me. The kingdom of God has come. The kingdom of the God. The kingdom has of come. God is in me. The kingdom of God. The is kingdom in me. of God is working through me. The kingdom of God is working. I through receive me. the power. I receive for the power. healing. For healing, for deliverance, for deliverance, for wholeness, for wholeness. I am the healed of the Lord. I am the healed of the Lord. Walking in divine health. Walking in divine sickness, health. Sickness, sickness, disease, disease, pain, pain, sorrow, sorrow, shame, shame, lack, lack, poverty, poverty, of health, of health. It does not dwell in me. Does not dwell in I me. I am healed. I am healed. I am restored. I am restored. I am made whole. I am made whole. I am strong. I am strong in the Lord. In the Lord and in the power of His and might. The power of His I might. Am Walking, I am walking in divine health. In divine health, and I'm not going back. And I'm not going back to sickness and disease. To sickness and I disease. I am free from that kingdom. I, I am free from that <laughs> kingdom. I'm in the kingdom of God. I am in, in the kingdom Jesus of God. Name. In Jesus name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, child of Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Well, we're so excited that that we've been privileged once again to share the word of God with you. Well, if you don't have a church home, we want to invite you to. Be part of the Glory and Peace Church family. We believe God has given us something to bring your way. Amen. But we also believe that God has blessed you with something to bring our way. And together, we can partner together to fulfill the purposes of God in this last of the last days. We welcome you to be part, partners with us in this ministry. Give to this work so that we can continue to propagate this gospel of the kingdom we are doing our part we encourage you to do your part also so that we together can accomplish the will of god this day and at all times god bless you we love you bye for now to receive a cd of today's program send ten dollars to mike zeno ministries post office box 3990 winnipeg manitoba R2W5H9. To order by Visa or MasterCard, call 204 582 6795. Request the program number on your screen. Thank you for watching Called to Victory with your hosts, Pastors Mike and Maria Efezino. This is a viewer supported program. Thank you for your financial gifts. Call, write, or follow us online. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or watch us on our YouTube channel. This has been a Mike Zeno Ministries presentation.